Hello everybody, this is Brett. I'm calling, or I'm with Brett's table and I'm about to do a video, my first video, and I am the cameraman and the chef today. So thank you for joining me. Um, this is the first opportunity that I've actually been able to wear something besides sweatpants and a sweatshirt. So today we're making um, crackers and as you see on um, the table here, we've got some crackers that are really simple to make, um, which I also made some duck rillette, which is delicious with them, and some grapefruit marmalade. So while people are getting set up, um, we'll get started. I also see that David Leibovitz over in Paris is also doing a live video at the same time. So I'm competing with David, and also if Chris Kimball can wear a bow tie, so can I. So let's get started. I'm just going to move this out of the way. So we've got a food processor here. Um, if you're using a bowl, um, you can also absolutely do that. But we're going to put two cups of flour into the food processor along with a teaspoon of sugar and a tablespoon of poppy seeds. So we're just going to buzz those up for just a moment, get everything incorporated. And then we're going to add three tablespoons of really good olive oil. and buzz that as well. And Michael, um, just keep doing it in the bowl. You'll be fine. So we've got the olive oil incorporated and I found out that if you take and move the flour mixture to the center of the bowl, when you pour in the water, and you pour in the water on the perimeter, it doesn't all collect underneath the blade. So we're just gonna buds that again. Until it forms a ball. And then we're going to dump it out onto our countertop. Being careful that we don't cut yourself with the blade. And now I'm going to move, let's have a very small kitchen, move my food processor off the counter. Okay. So, is everybody with me? So I'm gonna take some flour here. And by the way, I'm using um, King Arthur unbleached all-purpose flour this morning. And I'm, take, and I'm going to divide this into roughly four pieces. Just roll it up, pat it out a little bit, add some flour, get my rolling pin out, and start rolling this out. And you use quite a bit of flour because you don't want it to stick because we're going to be rolling it out quite thin. How you doing, Michael? Turning it around, keep adding flour. And you notice I'm throwing the flour at an angle as opposed to sprinkling it like this. Um, you just get better coverage. 
if you do it at an angle. I learned that trick from the Zoe Francois, I think, or Solve Tofti many years ago when I used to assist cooking classes at a local cooking school. So we're just going to roll this, keep rolling this out as thin as possible. Keep adding a little bit of flour. Take a sheet pan and line it with a piece of parchment paper. And before I do that, I'm going to brush off some of this excess flour. Set it on my sheet pan. And then I have some more really good olive oil that I'm just going to dab onto the dough here and then spread it out. And you want it to be generous, but you don't want it to be swimming in olive oil. So I've got the olive oil evenly distributed all over the dough. Set that aside. And then I'm very fortunate to have brought back some herbs to Provence, from Provence, which I'm going to sprinkle all over this. And then I've got a salt box that my um, brother Kevin made. And I've got um, some fleur de sel from France, uh, my just uh, everyday kosher, and then of course sea salt from Mexico. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some of the salt from France over. And some freshly ground black pepper and I'm going to take my pizza roll now and just kind of cut some slices and then this gets topped with another piece of parchment paper and another pan so that it doesn't bubble up. And this goes into a preheated 425 degree oven, um, covered for about 10 minutes with the second sheet pan, and then uncovered, uncovered for another, say, five to six minutes. And I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. So this is after it's been cooked, um, works really nicely if you remember to cut it before it goes in the oven. Otherwise, if you don't cut it before it goes in, it will look like this and then, but still quite easy to break into pieces and enjoy with a glass of rosé um, before dinner. So. Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, let me know if uh, you have any questions. Yes, Felix, uh, you want to take the parchment paper off the top uh, when you take the second sheet pan off for the final um, five minutes of baking. So thanks so much for watching and tell your friends and let me know if you would like for me to do it again. So have a great day, everybody. Be safe. 
Um, while we uh, endure this today, I would have been going to sing in a concert with the Twin Cities Gay Men's Chorus. So we uh, are still rehearsing uh, on occasion. We had our first virtual rehearsal um, last week and hope that Gerald does it again. So we will uh, be singing again at some point in the future. So everybody be safe, uh, love you all, and we will be together soon. Bye now.